Hi everyone. Thank you all for coming out on a cold evening. Um, but it's not snowing, so that's a win. <laughs> My name is Jenny Gates, and I am the exhibitions coordinator here at the Greater Denver Arts Council. And we are here tonight to actually celebrate three exhibitions. Um, the first one is we're celebrating James Nicewinder's solo exhibition, which is our RBC here in Festival Hall. We're also celebrating the 175 mile exhibition by the Visual Art Society of Texas, which is behind me in the Goth Gallery. And we're also here for Materials Hard and Soft, which is our exhibit that's opening today and will be open through May. So I want to give a little bit of quick information about the other exhibits, just so you all know about them, and then we'll move into the Hard and Soft Awards. The 175 mile exhibition features works from artists living within 175 miles of Denver. This exhibition was organized by the Visual Art Society of Texas, also known as VAST. And this exhibit is open through February 25th, towards the end of this month, with where they will have a closing reception and award ceremony that Saturday from 2 to 4. James Nicewinder's show, which is in the show here in Festival Hall, it's a solo show by work um, from James, who's a former art teacher and current artist and poet from Washington, D.C. James has been living in the Denton area for many years, teaching art. And his showcase talks about the different ways that we need to reconnect with nature and what we're going to find ourselves, the situation we're going to find ourselves in if we don't start taking seriously climate change and how we treat the earth. This exhibition ends tomorrow, so please enjoy it this evening while you're here, or come back tomorrow between 11 and 3. And finally, so we're doing, this is Materials Hard Soft Night. A lot of you are here to see this show, along with the other exhibitions, and we're so thankful for everyone who traveled from here in Denton and even outside the state. Materials Hard Soft started 36 years ago, um, when it was the creation of Georgia Leach Goth. This exhibition focuses on the creativity and innovation of artists in the field of crafts from around the world. Artists, if you're here, they all have name badges, but you can also just like wave and people might talk to you this evening about your work. And they're very passionate artists. They've been in doing this exhibition. They started applying for the show back last October-ish. Yeah, July through October, they applied for the show and waiting for this evening to showcase their works to you. This year, we expanded how we did the show. We actually added a panel of jurors. It used to be a solo juror. And this year, our jurors, we had seven jurors. And they are all experts in their fields. So I'm going to go through a slide here in a second. This next one will tell you all their names. Kathy Brown was our fibers juror. Harlan Beck was our metal juror. Shannon Driscoll was our paper juror. Brooks Oliver was our clay juror. Taylor Broderick, our glass juror, Sam Slovak, our wood juror, and James Lerman was our juror for wood, sorry, for mixed and other category. There's full bios of all these people in the catalog and also on the exhibition wall. Most of them are artists themselves in these fields, and you'll see that some of them jurors actually made it in the show. They entered their pieces in another category they were not judging. So I want to thank those jurors so much for all the hard work they did because they had to look through about 800 slides of art in a month's time and narrow it down to about 79 pieces that are on display. Jurors, if you're here, please please. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask the jurors. If you have any questions and you don't know which jury you need to talk to, I can help you find them and they'll agree to do so. I also want to thank um, the catalog designers. So if you all don't know, we created the catalog with a partnership with Texas Women's University here in Denton. The catalogs are created under the guidance of Professor Shelley Peterson. She was here earlier, I'm not sure she's still here. Oh, I see her. So thank you, Shelley, and your students. The catalog, yeah. They worked very hard and put up with me asking them to make a bunch of minor changes about once a week. So I really appreciate them. The catalogs this year are free, but we do have copies of last year's catalogs for $10 if you would like a catalog for the 35th anniversary. There's also a digital copy of the catalog available online, and there's a digital version of the exhibition online. If you have any friends who you think might really enjoy this exhibition or weren't able to see it this evening, um, we can share that link with them. 
inside on, on the digital version on our website. You can read the artist statements along with purchasing artwork if any of the pieces really spoke to you. Um, before announcing the winners tonight, we'll get to them in a second. I want to thank um, the GDAC staff who frantically helped me finish out this exhibition today. Um, as you all know, we were closed for a few days, but we did it. And the artwork is beautiful under this cloud. helping me hang our work pieces and Nick is doing the lights with me so it was a full crew job and I'm so grateful to work with all of them. I would also like to thank the GDAC board of directors for their support because they always have provided us and they are here too. The board members have little silver name badges. If you have any questions about membership or how to show an art show here at the Arts Council, they can speak with you. Yes, they're wonderful. Thank you. who helped GDAC throughout the entire year, not just with this exhibition. That includes the City of Denton, the Texas Commission on the Arts, and the National Endowment for the Arts. So thank you to those organizations. All right, now on to our awards. If you all don't know, we've also changed the jury process this year of how awards were won. Previously, we gave four awards first, second, third, and fourth place that for the entire exhibition. This year, I decided to make a change, um, and we decided to give out Best in Category Awards. So that means you held the Best in Wood piece, the Best in Clay piece. And part of the reason I did that was looking back at past materials for ourselves, we actually gave away a lot more than four awards. And that made it to where a lot of people had a better chance of receiving recognition for their hard work. So with the jury panel, I decided to do best of category, and then we did a best of show overall from those best of category winners. So we'll go through each category, and you'll see them on display, um, a detailed photo with the information, and you can go find the pieces in the gallery. We will also share this information in a print catalog insert that will be available tomorrow, and labels in the gallery so everyone knows who the winners are. The winners were selected by all seven, or six of the seven jurors, so it was a group decision. Our first category up is going to be Best in Wood. <laughs> and our Best in Wood piece goes to Laura Posey of Corpus Christi, Texas, Cloud Second. Take a moment to experience the piece. 
Our next piece is our paper. And our paper is awarded to Rosalie Connolly of Honolulu, Hawaii, the invasive native. All of our winners will receive a $300 check mail to them to thank them for their time and their effort in our exhibition. And now I'd like to give our best in show. Best in show was a selection by all of the jurors. They would make it the selection out of the pieces that were selected for best in category. And this piece had the most votes, clearly because it won. <laughs> and is Felicia Jordan of Dallas, Texas, our best in show. Thank you. 